today I'm going to be sharing with you five super sexy fragrances. I recommend these if you want to smell absolutely irresistible. Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Verity. Thank you to those of you who are supporting my channel and those of you who have subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So to kick off with the sexy fragrances, I feel like I have to start with this one. I've made the biggest dent in this fragrance. Rouge Smoking by BDK. This perfume is so sexy. I have literally used so much of this. BDK Rouge Smoking is, it is smoking hot. The juice is, you can see the color of the juice. This juice is absolute fire. This is intoxicating. So you have bergamot in this, you've got a cherry accord, there's pink berries in the top. In the mid you have vanilla and heliotrope, so it does have a little bit of a powdery vibe. In the base of this you have ambroxin, cashmeran, tonka bean, white musk. So it really is a whole medley of deliciousness. You have got sweetness, you've got that cherry accord, so it's got this kind of cherry cola vibe but in a really sophisticated, mature kind of way. It is quite erotic and definitely sexy. You really will stand out with this perfume. It is smoking hot. There's something about it also that gives me a little bit of kind of like Bakewell tart vibes. It's really like quite delicious smelling. If you don't know what a Bakewell tart is, it is like a cherry marzipani kind of tart. So it has like a fieriness, a smokiness. It's really smooth. It's not really overly powdery. It just has a little touch from that heliotrope in there. It's very warm, it's playful, but sophisticated at the same time. So I wouldn't say it's it leans more one way. I would say like male or female, anyone can wear this scent and it would really come into its own on each individual. It really is a lovely, unique kind of scent. It has amazing projection. It really, really lasts very, very well. I find with the BDK parfums, they really do perform well, they last. This is one of my favorite fragrance houses. They make these fragrances to a really high standard. The performance, everything about them, the blend is just perfection. I would definitely wear this as you can see, like I've used a lot and I always reach for this if I am going on a night out, which is not <laughs> very often, um, but it is such a amazing confidence boosting perfume. It really, really makes you feel good, makes you smell good. It just is a feel good fragrance. If you like cherry fragrances, this is a lovely one, but it's not overly cherry. Like for instance, some of the Tom Ford fragrances, they are a lot more prominent in the cherry note. Whereas this is a bit more of a balanced kind of scent with the vanilla, with the tonka bean. It is more of a blend and the cherry is more in the background of this fragrance, but it is there. It's just a bit more subtle. It's lovely. That is BDK's Rouge Smoking. I don't know why I always go to say Smoking Rouge instead of Rouge Smoking, but that is Rouge Smoking by BDK. So this next fragrance is a little bit more of a versatile kind of fragrance. It's super sexy. It is Rosendo Matu number six. This one is jasmine, sandalwood, and oriental musk. Those notes do not, 
do this fragrance justice. It is so much more than just these notes written on the bottle. It's slightly vanillary, it's got amber, but what is stunning about this scent is it has an exotic vibe to it. It's so sweet and musky and there's something in it that is making it so exotic. It has this exotic fruit kind of vibe, a coconutty vibe. You could wear this during the day. I feel like it's a laid back kind of sexy scent. It's not particularly in your face, but it is a very alluring, sensual kind of scent. It's creamy slightly powdery it gets more and more beautiful as it dries down it is it's a perfect all year round scent it is really versatile i would say this would be a lovely scent even for like a daytime date it is like your skin but a thousand times better it's so alluring and addictive I'm definitely drawn to this scent for daytime. I think nighttime it would be very lovely for a warm kind of evening somewhere. If you're on holiday, it's such a beautiful scent. It really is sexy in a very understated kind of way. It's definitely one to have in your collection. So the next scent I'm going to talk about is a very sexy scent. It gives me Vixen vibes. It's a very playful, sexy scent. It is Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal by Night. So this is the by night flanker. Oh, it's so gorgeous now the thing with this one is i don't know i don't think this flanker is available now everywhere i can still get this in the middle east but i think uh like uk i tried to get my mum to go and smell it in the uk and she was like i can't find it anywhere and i was like no you have to smell this it smells amazing uh, US, I'm not sure if it's available in the US still, but it is still here in the Middle East. So if you do get the chance to smell it, then let me know because I know it can be a bit tricky to get hold of. And I've smelled all of the scandals. I really like all of them, but this one really, really stood out to me. I thought, wow, when I smell this. And it gives similar vibes to Linta D Rouge. If you like that one, then you probably would also like this one. There are similarities. I just feel like this one has a bit more sweetness from the honey note. This is like date night, night out. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's so sexy. This is really like the epitome of sexy. I know why the legs, <laughs> why the bottle is like this because literally legs up in the air, like this bottle is telling no lies. It's so sexy, it's really, really lovely. You've got honey in it, you've got bitter orange. You've got citrus notes in the top and then in this you also have cherry but I feel like the cherry is definitely understated in this. It's not in your face, it's just got that little touch in there. And you've got tuberose. Now I'm a big, big lover of tuberose. I know some people love it and some don't. I am a big, big tuberose lover, so I can't get enough of it. And I can smell tuberose in this and it is beautiful. An orange blossom, so you've got the white florals that just give it that real feminine kick. It is so pretty. There's pear, so there's a touch of the fruitiness in there. And then in this, obviously in the base, it gets very sexy and deep and dense and you get the vanilla you've got tonka bean patchouli sandalwood so all of those very earthy very alluring notes in the base and that is what you get on the dry down of this it is so 
smooth and powerful and creamy. Oh, it's such a compliment magnet. Out of all the scandals, it is the sexiest, definitely. What I love about this fragrance is it is such a good performer. You are going to get a good eight to 12 hours with this perfume. It is powerful and super, super sexy. So that's Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal by Night. The next fragrance is so stunning and beautiful and sensual. It is Ella K. I don't want to butcher the name. Lettre de Pushka. This is so beautiful. It is a road ooze. Road ooze? What? <laughs> a rose oud fragrance. It is on a similar vibe to Peregrina, that kind of scent, or um, Mila Harris Scherzo. So if you're into those rose oudy kind of scents, Lettre de Pushka is absolutely beautiful. It is so magical. Now in the opening of this, when I first spray it, I get a note of some sort that is not listed. It's kind of fruity. It reminds me a bit of a fruit tea, like a, like a tea note, a fruity tea. It's really nice. And then obviously you have nutmeg, you've got cinnamon and saffron in the top notes. And then you've got rose, vetiver and oud in there and it is the lightest most fluffiest oud i have smelt in a fragrance it is done to perfection and i really do love oud when it is done in this very dreamy light airy kind of way it's such a beautiful note and it really brings this whole majestic like vibe to perfume Oud is very delicate, it's very light, it is a pretty kind of oud. Wow, it's delicate, it's more delicate than Tamin Peregrina. This I feel is a lighter version, sensual, a very easy one to wear during the day. I feel like Peregrina is quite a heavy kind of fragrance but this is sexy and sensual but light it's a good day and night wear so this would be lovely for a day date it would be lovely to wear in the evening it's very very versatile the rose in this is also very soft and sensual it's very light and feminine it just dries down into this absolute vanilla bomb it gets sweeter and your skin just ends up smelling absolutely delicious but it's not too sweet i cannot stand when fragrances are sickly sweet this is perfect it's just the right balance of oud of rose of sweetness it is blended to perfection. I cannot even tell you how much. The only thing I would say about this is please do not drop this cap on your big toe. It weighs an absolute ton. You would need to go to the hospital. <laughs> this is um, quite a heavy bottle, so I would not recommend traveling with a bottle of this weight. Um, but it's a beautiful bottle. It's very simplistic, it's classy, but this lid is lethal. So that is Ella K. Lettre de Pushka. The final scent I'm going to talk about is one that I would describe as a naughty but nice kind of scent. It is like a scent for a queen that's classy, that's elegant, but at the same time, she's a little bit naughty. Lena Exclusive. Wow. This scent is next level, pretty, feminine, sexy. Absolute compliment magnet. It is so powerful, 
so feminine, so classy, elegant, sexy, it's everything. And this one little bottle is such a powerful scent. Magical. So I also love Delina La Rose. I have that one. That's a lighter take on this. It's very light, it's aquatic, it's airy. Lovely for spring and summer. But this is the sexy big sister. It's naughty but nice. It's classy, it's really beautiful. You've got lychee, you've got pear, bergamot. The star is the Turkish rose so pretty and feminine you've got the oud and the incense and that just gives it that mysterious touch it's mysterious it's got the vanilla you've got woody notes it is a whole medley of femininity and absolute sex appeal it's really dreamy it's like a dreamy magical kind of scent it's got like this slight marshmallowy kind of vibe to it it's a bit like a turkish delight almost like an edible rose edible florals which is really clever it actually is like semi gourmand it's utter sophistication even though it's innocent and quite sweet it's still sexy it's feminine it is actually quite a beast mode fragrance you will have people hunting you down if you wear this perfume. I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. If you want to leave a big impression, this perfume is the one. It's an absolute smash. <laughs> wow. Definitely would try Delina exclusive. I actually get more excited about what perfume I'm going to wear over my outfit. Honestly, that is how obsessed I am with perfumes. It's crazy. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.